Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie. I'm a wife and a mother, and tonight I am doing my nighttime cleaning routine. There is no time to clean during the day with a toddler, especially a sick toddler. My toddler has been sick today, and so our house is destroyed. I will say it's a little bit messier than it usually is because he was sick and then we had company tonight, and so there's more of a mess than usual, but I'm going to do what I usually do anyway. It's just more mess. But come along with me and I'll show you what I guys what I do on my nighttime cleaning routine. So I use the Mrs. Meyers mint scent dish soap dish soap. Um, I love the smell of it and it just cleans my dishes very well and I just really love it. I use the Mrs. Meyers cleaning products for everything pretty much. Um, I just recently started using them, but I love their scents and I love the way they clean and so I love using it to clean my pots and pans. I usually put most stuff in the dishwasher. And for that, I just use the finished pods. But um, for my pots and pans and my knives and things that I don't want to get messed up in the dishwasher, I do use the Mrs. Meyers dish soap. So I'm washing dishes from tonight. Usually while I clean, I rinse them off and put them to this in one side of the sink. But um, I still have to wash them. And so we eat supper. And then immediately after, I give Ben a bath and put him to bed. So as soon as he goes to sleep, I come back in and wash the dishes. So most of them are rinsed off, but um, the ones we eat out of are still have food in them, so I have to clean them out too. So a good portion of my nighttime routine is washing dishes, and tonight it was even more so because we had company over, and so we cooked a big meal, and there was lots of pots and pans used, and lots of dishes used because we had extra people, and so there was more of a mess than usual, but I usually, um, usually take about 10 minutes to wash dishes, and tonight it took me about 30 minutes, so it's a big chunk of time in this video tonight. And I did use my Instant Pot tonight. I love using my Instant Pot just to like finish meats or to cook a whole meal because it makes everything so tender and juicy and good and it keeps the flavor in everything and I am absolutely, it's not an Instant Pot actually, it's just a um, electric pressure cooker. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But I love mine. It's not an Instant Pot, but it still does what an Instant Pot does and so it makes dinner so easy and we love cooking in it. Also, it's a nightly routine to clean off the snack bar because it gets trashed at night because it's right by the door we come in and so stuff gets laid on it and as we're running around trying to feed Ben and keep him happy, <laughs> snacks get left out and um, stuff from cooking gets left out. Trash gets set on there because our trash can's in our laundry room behind the kitchen and so it's just easier to set it on the snack bar than to take the extra steps to put it in the trash can. So a lot of my nighttime routine is also cleaning off that snack bar and the table which is also a catch-all. You'll see that in a little bit. And I like to wash out my sink with soap because we do have a problem with ants around our area and so they come in very easily. So if you leave any speck of food out, they will find it and they will invade your home. And so I do try to rinse out, wash out my sink every single night just to prevent the incoming ants. And we made tea tonight in our little tea kettle so I had to wash that out. And to clean my counters, I use the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface. It's a concentrate, so you mix it with water, and they sent me this glass bottle, which I love, and it has the little silicone thing on the bottom, so when you set it down, it doesn't like break or clink on the 
uh, counter or anything like that. I just, I really love using it. And the scent is the lemon verbena or verbena, however you say it. And I love lemon scent in the kitchen. So I love using that and it smells so good. It makes my kitchen smell so good after I use it. And I just use a washcloth, and a lot of people use microfiber cloths, but I hate the feeling of them. I don't know what it is, I just hate the, I cannot stand the feeling of microfiber on my hands. So I just use a regular washcloth and it works just as well. And then Benjamin likes to play with his little magnets and he hides them under the refrigerator so every night I have to pick them up and put them back in. And then any beverages we didn't get put in the fridge, I always try to restock um, water and soda or whatever we didn't get in the fridge during the day at night. And then our garden is finally producing some food. So we had bell peppers and just regular peppers today and so I'm emptying the bucket that my husband brought in. Does anybody else's husband leave their shoes everywhere? My husband, I swear, has like 20 pairs of shoes and they're always in the same spot. So I always pick them up at night. And then here I'm cleaning off that mess of a table I told you about. Um, we went on a trip and Benjamin stayed with his grandma and so his bag still didn't get unpacked. So I'm doing that now and um, putting all that away and putting the rest of just the stuff from the day away. His bag, that little backpack, that green one, we always take with us everywhere we go. So we empty it out, refill it, empty it out, refill it multiple times a day. And so I just gotta clean up the table, make it not such a mess. I do wipe down his high chair immediately after he gets done eating because I have to wipe him off but he's in a rush to get out and so I do a really quick job and so I also have to redo it um, when I'm wiping down the table at night and we just got this vacuum it's new it's a Hoover I'll try to find it. I don't know if I can or not I got it at an outlet store and so it was only $50 and it has hoses and it has that light and it's um, a chargeable one so it doesn't have to have a cord it's cordless I guess and it's kind of loud but it has really good suction and I love how easy it is to use the hoses are a little bit of a booger to get out but it's more convenient than having to get out a corded vacuum and deal with those hoses so I'm still happy with it and for only 50 bucks it was a steal we had another one that we spent hundred dollars on that was a Bissell and it just was not as good as this one so I'm really happy that we got that and here's the finished product clean kitchen that table always stays a mess so I just let it be and then that is it. We do have a plate of food over by the dishes if you see it. That is for the chickens, it's just scraps. We always save our fruit and vegetable scraps for our chickens to eat. And then this is where Ben plays. This is our library slash piano room slash office slash playroom. It's kind of just the room that is the catch-all. And Ben has a bucket of balls and he gets them out every single day. Every single one, whether he plays them or not, they always end up in the floor. So every single night I'm picking up all of his balls that he left out and see they're just everywhere. And then after I get that cleaned up I go into the library, not the library, the living room. This is where we actually live, where we watch TV and hang out and stuff and so that becomes a mess too because Ben brings his stuff as you can see in there as well and just makes a mess of it. So picking up is a big chunk of my night but it doesn't take very long, it's just clutter stuff. So I'm picking up now and then I'll be basically done.
and then there it's all picked up it's real nice coming out of the bedroom to a nice clean floor you can walk through without running into anything and it's just nice to not have clutter first thing when you wake up and we just love waking up to a clean home it makes it so much nicer to wake up because everything else about waking up is terrible that's it that's my cleaning routine at night usually I will sneak into Ben's room and clean his room but since he's been sick he's not sleeping very good so I'm not gonna risk it and also I would usually um, vacuum the living room library area but since he's not sleeping good I'm not gonna risk it <laughs> so I'll just do those things in the morning but that's it I make sure I get all the dishes washed because you don't want ants and I just kind of pick up because if we leave it cluttered then Ben will clutter it even more the next day and so he won't be able to walk so I just pick up all his clutter at night and so that we can start fresh the next day. But that's my night cleaning routine. I hope it motivates you, gives you some ideas of what you should probably pick and choose what to do before you go to bed because I know we're always exhausted before we go to bed. But I got it done. It took me, about, took me about an hour tonight because of all the extra. But usually it's about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So it's not too bad. But I'm going to go to bed now. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of our YouTube family. And we also have a family vlog channel. And I'll link that below in case you guys want to check that out too. But thanks for watching and we'll see you later.